welcome back to my channel. I am coming at you today with a New Year book haul from all of the books that I got as Christmas presents and that I bought with money that I have. I spent it all on books and bookshelves. I'm just gonna get right into this. I got quite a few books, so here we go. Book number one, boom, is Stephen King's On Writing. This is a memoir I've really been wanting to read. I've heard a lot of good things about it. And basically, it's just a book about his thoughts on writing. I've heard it's very inspiring for those who want to write and enjoyable for people who are fans of Stephen King, which I've actually never read any of his books because I can't do horror, but I have watched a ton of his lectures on YouTube, so I was really excited to get this book. Book number two, boom, is The Alchemist by Paulo Coelho, Coelho, I probably, I can't say his name, last name. This is really sweet. It's a book that my boss actually got for me and it's super awesome. This is another one I've heard a lot about but haven't read. It's kind of a classic, I guess, from my understanding of it. I've heard that it's fiction, but it's really inspiring to kind of go get your dreams and follow your passions, especially if your passions have to do with kind of the creative side of things, like if you want to be a writer or an artist or, you know, other creative venues of job paths. Words. I don't speak them very well, but I can write to them. Book number three is this book. Red Queen. I got this at Target, the special edition cover, because it was the only one that they had, but it's cool because it's special edition. I got this book at Target mostly because I had spent most of the gift card, but not all of it, and I wanted to buy books, and I had actually wanted to buy a different book, but I saw this one, and the cover was beautiful. Yes, I do judge books by their covers. Don't judge me. And the back looked really cool. It said, Power is a Dangerous Game, and then I read the inside of it, and it just sounds way up my alley. Basically, from what I was able to gather, there's two different types of people. There's the ones with the silver blood, and there's one with the red blood, and the silver bloods are the elites and have special powers, and they rule over the people with the red blood. And one day, there's a girl who has red blood, and one of her friends gets conscripted into the army or something like that, and she tries to revolt, finds out she has silver blood, and now this whole thing happens. Don't I just have lovely summaries of books? Anyway, I read that and I was like, I definitely want to read this book and it's special edition, so extra special. Next is the slew of Sarah J Mass books that I bought because I'm so behind on her books. I got Empire of Storms because I need to finish this series and I'm kind of bummed about Tower of Dawn coming out. Not because I don't want to read more books of this world, but I just, I just, I read that part of the story from one character's perspective and I don't want to have to relive it again, even though it's going to be totally different because he wasn't even in the same place, but uh, I just, I don't like going back in time. But anyway, that was a big tangent. This is Forward in Time. Here's my deal with the Throne of Glass series. I really loved the first three books. I really, really liked where they were going. And then the fourth one, Queen of Shadows, I felt like it just started getting way too much about relationships and sexual tension and people being angsty towards each other and less about the political dynamics and the inner struggles and more of just like... I'm horny, but I can't get with this person yet. I, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe other people feel that way too. But I, I wasn't a huge fan of the fourth book. So I'm hoping that I feel much better about this book. Cover looks freaking awesome. I think I have hopes. I have hopes for this. Continuing the Sarah J. Mastery, I got the Court of Thorns and Roses, finally. I've heard so much about this series. People say a lot of times that they like it better than Throne of Glass. If you've read it, if you've read both, put down your thoughts about both of them in the comments and I'd like to hear which one you like more and why. So I got this one and I got the second one, The Court of Mist and Fury, because apparently there's a fourth book coming out this year, I think. I don't know. 
I want to try to get caught up on all of them before I that one comes out. I'm trying to get on top of this reading trends thing. Really trying. It's difficult when you're so behind. So really excited to read both of these, especially this one. I heard really good things about this book, so I'm pretty excited about that. Last book in this New Year's book haul is <laughs> so beautiful. It's the Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them big edition. It's the illustrated one and the pictures in here are so freaking cool. Like, oh my gosh, this is too big, but it has like Phoenix and the little blurb about it. This isn't working very well at all. This is a streeler. It looks like a giant worm machine that can shoot lasers. No, it's a slug. That's a slug. And I just, I love the artwork in here. It's kind of watercolory. It's just beautiful. It's beautiful. And it has inspired me to make an entire Harry Potter display on my bookshelf. So I got this. I have some Harry Potter cups. I have the Harry Potter series. I have Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find the Screenplay and the Cursed Child Screenplay and a collection of Harry Potter bookmarks. That with this makes the beautiful Harry Potter display on my bookshelf. And it makes me very, very happy. So that is all the books I have for today. If you have any books that you got over this new year for Christmas or just to start off your month with a reading kick, let me know what they are so I can go look them up and buy more books because goodness knows that's what I need in my life. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to receive weekly videos about books and writing related topics, go ahead and subscribe. I post writing related videos on Tuesdays, although I didn't this last Tuesday, just because that wasn't happening with the new year, and book-related videos on Thursdays. Thank you so much for watching this video, and until next time, bye!